Thank you. Hello, Ignite Seattle. And I am Amy, and I, baby, I was born that way. So I don't know how many of you have ever had the thought cross your mind that maybe I'm a little bit crazy. I've had that thought a few times, and this is sometimes what 30 minutes of my life can feel like. It can be a little bit intense. Of course, though, that is then augmented by my to-do list, which can feel like a hydra. Every time I chop a head off, it sprouts another three. And it's taken me most of my life to realize that not everybody's to-do list actually does this. Strange. But then that comes out of my schedule looking like this. And unfortunately, I need something like this to feel normal because I need to be engaged in everything right now, all the time, until I hit a wall and just kind of lose it. And it's often led me to have this fear that maybe I'm just a little bit too much. But Dabrowski, a Polish psychologist, had this theory that there's something called overexcitabilities, which were an inborn ability to sense and react to stimuli more strongly. So basically, he's telling me I'm not crazy. And about 20% of the population actually has this genetic tendency to react more strongly for longer to smaller stimuli. And so maybe just because something feels like the world is ending to you, but somebody else doesn't get it, doesn't actually mean that you're crazy. Somebody else actually may not get it. So I've sort of dealt with this my whole life and realized finally that there are five domains that this happens in. Psychomotor, which is classically defined as lots of energy, often misdiagnosed as ADHD. There's also sensual, which is where you get a lot of intense information from your senses. Imaginational, what, not everybody invents small friends when they're little? And intellectual, which would be classic gifted, which I'm sure a number of people here identify with, and emotional, which is probably the intensity that I identify with most strongly. And with that, I know that I have a tendency to get myself worked up, so this was a reminder to myself to breathe and know that I've made it halfway through, and I haven't fainted yet. So Dabrowski was a Polish psychologist that did a lot of work in the 40s and 50s with gifted in Eastern Europe. On top of his overexcitability theory, he also had this idea of personal development for a lot of these intense personalities. This is what we were told to avoid, so ignore the slide. However, it's this complex thing with all these different levels, and in summary, what he really said was that tension is what's necessary for growth. And so all this duress that most of us put ourselves through the stress and the agony, from his view, it's actually not bad. It means you're becoming who you're supposed to be. So he actually called this positive disintegration. And what would be really cool is if it was something recognizable by the world where you emerge as this beautiful butterfly once you've gone through your trials and tribulations. That would be so cool. And there are days that I think maybe the world's going to recognize it and see what I see. Unfortunately, that's not the way it seems to work half the time. I'd really like to come out as this butterfly that the world recognizes, but it seems I'm more likely to get something like this. It's kind of cool. It's sort of pretty. It's a little different, but what the heck is it? <laughs> and positive disintegration is basically this merging of all of your different personality traits and experiences and coming up with something that is unique and different and something that maybe not everybody recognizes, but it is who you are. And so these intensities, realizing that they let me do different things that not everyone has done. Um, the need to do more and be more s led towards an experiment in aerial arts. I did actually manage to stand on a trapeze and I'm still here. So maybe, maybe those intensities are just enough. You'll always be too much of something for someone, too big, too small, too loud, too soft, or too edgy. But just remember, if you round out your edges, you actually may lose your edge. If you just want to complain about how crazy you feel, or that maybe it's nice to know that you're not alone out there, feel free to drop me a line on Twitter. Thank you much.